Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going to implement Google Maps into our website. Now, uh, if you have done Google Maps um, with the API version V2, then you should probably be knowing that uh, you need uh, an API key for implementing Google Maps. Now, one of the coolest things of the latest version of Google Maps API, that is Google Maps API V3, is that you don't require an API key anymore. Now, uh, this gives you an added advantage of uh, of uh, you can work offline that is if you if you have a document like um on a, a, a page like this um on your desktop and you can run that to get google maps rendered into that particular web page previously you could not do that so we'll get started with the code and then um we'll be trying to um do the exact same tutorial uh which is given in google maps um this one and um, we'll be taking it step by step so first of all we need to create the html document and then close the html document and then we'll start with the body and close body and then we'll open head and close head and then inside the head we'll start the script tag and type equals text um, text slash javascript and then we are going to link this to google maps so the way that i'm going to do is um, inside um, the script over here um, google maps um, they give this link okay i'm going to copy this and then going to paste it over here so which will give me the google maps api now uh, there's an important parameter which is called sensor which is uh, either set to true or set to false so for the time being we'll set it as false i'm not sure what this exactly is um, maybe something uh, which is um, associated with um, geolocation i mean uh, yeah uh, which we'll deal in some other day so uh, now we have um, added google maps api into our website i mean into our web page now the next thing that i want to do is um, execute a javascript function when the document loads so um, the way that it is done over here is like um, on load so i'm going to call a function which is called initialize which uh, triggers on the document load so when the document loads i want to trigger a function which is called initialize so i'm going to copy this function over here and then inside this i'm going to type in script tag rather i'll copy this uh, and then close the script tag and then function oops initialize okay now this initialize function will initialize the map for us okay now the next thing that i want to do is um, i want to create a div of an id of uh, map canvas and then I'm going to close this. This is basically what um, get place the map here. Okay, now the map will be placed over here. So initialize function will get, uh, will fetch, uh, create the map, and then it will um, put that map over here so instead of typing the code um one by one i'll just copy the code one by one because this um, might cause a lot of spelling mistakes so i mean unwanted error so better is to copy the code i mean um we'll start from the basics um we'll s go step by step so the first thing that we want to copy is this particular bit of code okay and then i'll paste it over here now this is kind of like s telling that okay um, Google Maps that uh, the latitude and longitude that I want to initialize is this particular um, latitude that is minus 34.397 and 150.644. I mean, if you um, you can you could give any latitude and longitude depending upon what you want. Um, so uh, basically, what this line of code tells is that okay, the code that I mean uh, the 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 the, init the default loc location that I want to set. Um, to this particular variable as minus 34.397 and 150.644. The next thing that um, 
um, that um, is given over here is a set of array. It's a set of values or uh, it's an array uh, which is called my options. And then a couple of parameters are passed. The first parameter is zoom, which um, obviously you might have guessed it, um, it tells the zoom that uh, Google Maps should have. The next thing is center. Center is uh, taken as lat long, um, this variable, which is over here. So when you pass this particular variable um, to Google Maps, um, this will also contain default location that we have set over here. Okay. I mean, uh, and the next thing that we want to do, uh, we want to uh, we want to specify is map type ID. The map type ID is uh, is a way by which we tell uh, Google Maps that we need a road map, um, or we need a satellite view, or we need a hybrid, or we need something like uh, terrain. So depending upon what value you give over here, um, it will vary. So if I don't want road map, if I want satellite, then uh, I should be getting something like sat I mean satellite. Okay, so I should be um, copying this particular thing and then pasting over here and then I, I'll be getting a satellite view. So that uh, that's it. So next thing that we want to get is, um, okay, now we have got the variables. We have initialized the map uh, to a particular point, uh, but then still we won't be able to see the map because we want some kind of a function um, to get that map um, rendered into a per this particular div, okay? So we are going to copy that particular code, which uh, renders a map into that into, into a div. So I'll paste this code over here, and then. So if you look at this code, it says Google Maps dot maps, which will get the map, and then it says document got dot get element by ID map canvas, which is obviously this particular div's ID, and uh, and then um, I want to create uh, um, create a map with the options uh, specified in this particular variable, which is an array um, over here. So, and then if you get a map, then place it inside this particular div of ID map canvas. So, um, yeah, so I hope this is uh, clear. We'll save this and then run this in Firefox. So, nothing happens. Um, and you don't have an error. Google map is not a constructor. We'll clear this, refresh the page. Okay, I don't have an error over here. So, the reason why, okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess this is a silly mistake. Um, the reason why I'm not I'm not getting in a map over here is that I've not given a width and a height for this particular thing. So style equals width, say something like 400 pixel, and then height also 400 pixel. And then I'll save this, refresh the page. Okay, I get I'm getting um, um, the map over here. Now, if you look at the map, it's it's satellite view. Now, I don't want satellite. I just um, want a road map. So I'll go back to um, my Google Map um, documentation, and then um, yeah, I'll copy this uh, and then and paste it over here. So I get a road map. And refresh the page. I get the road map. So. I mean, this is kind of really simple. Now, um, if you want, if you don't want uh, this particular location, and instead you want some other locations, like, say, I'll um, I'll give my location the where uh, the place where I uh, live. Okay. Uh, okay. This is um, something which I I commonly use. Uh, I mean. I've used this a lot of times, uh, this particular website. I mean, it's a good website. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with it. And uh, I am living somewhere over here in uh, India. So over here. Yeah, over here. OK. OK, now I'm going to copy the latitude and longitude. So latitude is something like this. So I'm going to paste it over here. Degrees, you don't need degrees. And then longitude. Okay. And then refresh the page. Okay, I'll go back to my uh, page and then refresh it. So you have it. <laughs> this is the southern part of India where I live. Uh, yeah, there you have it. So. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, have a great day. Thank you.